the growing of grapes is an important part of the culture, so they have these various festivals and things. And there's an event that's kind of like uh, a Junior Miss competition where people from each department, and this is in the province of Mendoza itself, but each department, which is kind of like a county, uh, there will be like a Vendemia queen who like represents that province and then goes on to compete at a provincial level. Um, gauchos are another part of the culture, I think, broadly across all of Argentina. I think it's more common in the north in areas like Salta. But um, like there's just kind of a, a respect for cowboys and their horses in parades. They will often have many horses. In the Vendemia Parade of Mendoza, there are or something like 3,000 horses. It's uh, it's something that's important to them, I guess, kind of like our cowboy stories here, but I think it's more integral to the culture of Argentina from what I saw. Um, the Argentines are a proud people. They're, they're proud of who they are. And... Um, Sometimes at the expense of the neighboring countries, there's a little bit of enmity between Argentina and Bolivia, or rather, Argentines kind of look down on Bolivians sometimes. And there's a rivalry between Argentina and Chile, which is interesting because there are a number of Chileans living in Argentina and they would always be complaining about how Chile was better. But I mean, I love Argentines, so I was on the Argentine side. Um, Oh, one other thing to mention about the language, I mentioned that like the double L and the Y have either a J or a Y sound. In San Juan, they can't roll their R's or don't roll their R's. And so it's more of like a, so instead of perro, it would be like persho. Um, so that's an interesting feature to get used to. And uh, San Juaninos also have a very sing-songy voice, like Que bonito, mira el pechito So just very sing-songy and very cute um, It's less that way in Mendoza There's still a bit of a sing-song to the voice, but not as pronounced um, this, Another part of the culture would be the food, which is quite good I'm a fan of Argentine food it's, it has elements of a Mediterranean diet, but has its own twist to it. Um, one common food that's quite good is empanadas, which is, like, I guess, it, it, it differs from region to region. I've heard that in the north they use, like, potatoes in them. But where I was, it was, like, these little pieces of flour, and you wrap meat inside them and fold them over into a crescent. Sometimes it will have olives or onions in it as well. Um, Milanesas are another thing which is just like a bit of fried meat um, uh, Meat has been an important part of the Argentine diet for quite some time And it used to be the case that that was like the cheapest thing to get So people would barbecue all the time uh, In recent times there's been some economic difficulty And so meat has become more expensive and less common I'd say the foods that we ate the most were probably noodles, uh, just various kinds of noodles, sometimes with meat in them, often accompanied by a salad, which was just tomatoes with lettuce and vegetable oil poured on top of it, which was quite good. Actually, I never liked tomatoes until I went to Argentina, and then like, whoa, these are good. Um, so that was a good experience. Some of the more affluent people will have fruit more often, but that was less common among most people. Um, there are a lot of good uh, pastries and dessert breads in Argentina called facturas in some places, which also means receipt in some other places, so it can be a little confusing. Um, so just, I guess, little pieces of, of bread that are sugared or have some sort of sweetener in them. Um, with each meal, like bread is served, um, just like little bread rolls, and that's used to like scoop up the last bits of food, or like if you're having soup to like kind of clean up the plate, 
And that's something that I missed. That was really fun to be able to eat that way. I still do that occasionally.